Behind these ramshackle gates, a hidden world of North Korean labor, where Pyongyang sends its camera-shy workers to live and to earn hard Russian cash. It's a crucial economic lifeline from Moscow to the sanctioned North Korean regime. Sanctions is the wrong instrument, to my mind. This is not the solution of the problems of North Korea. So employing these tens of thousands of North Korean workers is Russia's way of going around those sanctions? Absolutely not. We will not go around any sanctions which are supported by the Security Council. We visited this construction site in the Russian city of St. Petersburg, where the workers are North Korean migrants. U.S. diplomats tell CNN they believe more than 50,000 North Koreans work in Russia, and upwards of 80% of their wages are paid directly to Pyongyang. It's an important source of funding for the cash-strapped regime. Russia is allowed to keep the workers which they have, but not to uh, either enlarge the quotas or introduce new labor or to re-sign the contracts. And the amb uh, ambiguity is that nobody has looked into the proper contracts and nobody knows how many years they are allowed to stay. And as sanctions tighten on North Korea, there are concerns about how Pyongyang uses the cash earned by the laborers who work and sleep and even eat here. Come on in. All right, well, this looks like it's the canteen for the North Korean workers, and, and here they are in here um, having their lunch. I mean, obviously, I mean, this is very important. There are a lot of people just here. Um, and it's very important because across Russia, there are thousands, come on in, come on in. There are thousands of Russians, thousands of North Koreans rather, that, that operate on North Korean sites. And the importance of that is that the UN says that this is one of the main ways that North Korea funds its missile program and its nuclear weapons program. But Russia denies undermining international sanctions, saying it stands against Pyongyang's military ambitions and supports UN Security Council resolutions calling for North Korean nuclear restraint. The money these workers earn, insist Russian officials, is a form of direct aid, keeping North Koreans alive. The uh, money is uh, used to assist people who live in North Korea to survive because they do, ex do experience uh, economic and social pro pro problems. I cannot uh, imagine a situation where you may uh, color this money and see, look, this money earned in Russia go for the nuclear program and that money earned, I do not know, in, in, in Japan, go somewhere else. Russia, it seems, supports efforts to isolate the North Korean regime but also helps to keep it afloat. Matthew Chance, CNN, St. Petersburg.